Good morning. Old fisherman. Back with you again in Lake Monticello. Hey, on Saturday morning, we out here trying to catch a dog gone. Monticello white perch. All bundled up again. It's like 12 degrees, something like that. It's cold. Hey, we gonna start off this morning, and uh, I'll take this hood off. We gonna start off this morning in about 70 couple foot of water. Cause I think that's where the fish is gonna be deep. So we gonna start deep today. We're using a, uh, a uh, slider jig and uh, Mr. Crappy. Already unhung up, got a wrap already. But, uh, and it's really cold. Can't function with the gloves on hardly. Hey, it's cold. Got a knot already starting off, right off the bat. Uh, we dropped down and caught one nice jumbo magnet. Well, I'm, put, I'm turning on the camera and it drifted me back about 100 yards. So bear with me. We get all our ducks in our row. Get our gloves back on. And we are going to try to catch some more of these doggone Monticello white perch. The old fisherman back at it again, freezing temperatures. Hey, I love it. I'm telling you, I love fishing in cold weather. And we're starting deep this morning. We've got uh, clear conditions, sunshine, clear water, cold. We're going 70 foot. We're going to start around the 70 foot raise today. I caught one. I dropped off out and caught one, and I, I, a big one too, and I turned on the camera. But I'm not going to show you that fish. I throwed him in that water and I'm not gonna put my hands in that water. And we're gonna see if we can catch another one. Might not get another bite. I have had that happen before too. But uh hey got the turn sun right in the eyes here this morning. But anyhow, hey, we out here trying, trying to make a daily video. Hopefully every day I go I try to make a video showing you what I'm doing. And uh hey today is no exception just cold. Got a little breeze. <coughs> Got a little breeze this morning. Can't hold the talk because it's so cold. But uh got a little breeze. And uh and I dropped off a while ago and I know I didn't throw the buoy out of nothing and the wind blowed me back, but I dropped out and as soon as I dropped out I caught a fish. So I turned on the camera, right? Now I can't get a bite. Ain't that the way it works? Maybe we'll get on one in a minute. I got to stir around here and see where I was at. Right now we're at 68 foot of water. I might have been a little deeper when I first started. I might have been out there in 75 foot. So I'm gonna work back off the side of this ridge till we get back on some fish. I know some out there wouldn't have caught that one. But we caught one. And we turned on the camera. The old fisherman is doing it again. He loves it so much he can't let it go. Can't set it at the house because I, I set it at the house, I think about it, what I'm missing. So, hey, if I can get up and get out here, I'm coming. It's about 10 o'clock. It was late. I went to eat breakfast, messed around, and there's a bite, finally. There's a bite, and that's a pretty nice one. Oh, my. What? That's a pretty nice one. Maybe we get on some jumbo magnums here today. Oh, Lake Monticello. Oh, Lord, it's way down yonder. It takes a while to reel him up. Look at that. Hey, caught both of them on that pink and chartreuse. We're using a Mr. Crappy. A slider jig and a, and a spoon at the bottom. Both of them caught on a pink and chartreuse Mr. Crappy. So we might have to take the slider jig off and put a Mr. Crappy on both of them. But we got a pink and chartreuse. I, it almost looks like pink and yellow. I'm not too sure. It's more like pink and yellow than it is chartreuse. But hey, we're in 70, 71 foot of water this moment. And I'm sorry about that sun right in the camera. And that's the way the angle is today. I hate that. I'll try to turn the boat the other way a little bit. It's 72 foot right here, so we letting it down a long ways, people. Hey, we letting it down a long ways. But I believe there's a few fish around here. And it looked like both of them I caught was pretty good. Hey, maybe, just maybe, we'll catch some of this On the lake I love, Lake Monticello. We got a pretty stiff breeze this morning. I'll tell you that right now, that's pretty stiff. 
They keep bumping it. They bumping it. They bumping it. They is. They is. Oh my, they is. What? Got to love that. I might need to put on a dog gonna gut shrimp on that other jig. See what we got this one on. He ain't quite as big as the other. We got him on the uh, slider jig. And he ain't as big though. He's a smaller fish. I'll throw him back. I'm trying to keep just the biggest because I don't want to clean a bunch of fish no how. I appreciate all y'all watching my show, like I say every day. And, uh, hey, it's all a lot of fun doing this, doing these shows and, and responding to people and answering questions. I, I really like it. And uh, be sure to watch the commercials. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. If you give me a thumbs down, tell me why. Oh, Lord, one that hit it on the way down. What? She done hit it on the way down. You got to love that. I think we might be in something here today. I think we might be in something here today. If that sun ain't so bright, y'all can see. I hate that. It's always the wrong angle. Hey, got him on the spoon. A jumbo magnum on the spoon. You got to love it. You got to love it. Get out of the way. Hey, old fisherman's starting off pretty good. Uh-oh, got a tangle. There he goes. Drop it back down to the bottom with a big boy's lie. You got to love that. What? You got to love it. You're catching fish. Drop right out here, start catching fish. I messed around and didn't come to late, and then I eat breakfast, and, and uh, hey, now I got a belly full. I'm warm as toast, all except my fingers. And, uh, and we out here doing what we love on the lake I love, Lake Monticello. 67 foot. <coughs> when I stopped, and I ain't seen no fish. Now I'm starting to catch a couple of fish. So y'all people that rise around and look for fish, y'all messing up. You look for places to fish. You don't look for fish, look for places to fish, and there goes number two. Right there goes number two. Hey, right there goes number two. Y'all see it? Look at that. Huh? Y'all see it? My goodness. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, my. What? Oh, my. Oh, two at a time. You got to love it. Two at a time. That's a jumbo magnum. People. I don't know. I can't do much walking now. But hey, look at the size of that one. That's a good one there. This one here's a mini mite. Looks like I'm catching the smaller ones on the smaller jig. So I'm thinking I need to be I, I need to be using big on everything to catch the bigger fish. That's what I'm thinking. We got a this morning we got us a spoon. You got a slider jig and above that I got a Mr. Crappy. Of course it's all twisted up, but we got a Mr. Crappy. Tail cocked up that good. And uh, hey, we on a few fish. Drop it back down. We got them going, hopefully. Cold weather fishing. You got to love it. The water temperature is uh, 51 degrees right here at this spot. The depth is 70 foot right this second. Now, I'm thinking you got to be 70 foot. There's no trees right out in here, so I shouldn't get hung up. Yesterday I got hung up in the trees, lost everything right after I turned the video off. Every time I get that other area and I try to get out there a little deeper than 65 foot, I get in trees. I got to watch myself. So you got to get where there ain't no trees on a ledge where you got that deeper water where there's no trees is the key. You get out there as deep as they are now, they in the tree, tree depth. And you can get hung up on this lake if you don't know what you're doing. And I, even if you know what you're doing, you lose it. I did yesterday. All right. See if we can get back on another. Now we're 65, so we're right on the side of a drop. It drops right straight off, and you got real deep water right out in front of me. And that's what we're doing here today. Lake Monticello, loving life on a Saturday morning. And what happened to him? Now he ain't getting a bite. Catch him right quick, now he can't get a bite. What? Hey, put the beat on the boat. Stir them up a little bit. Wake them up. Tell them we're here. All right, we do the come around a circle swing, see what happens. Get a little slack out, 45, and we're gonna spin the boat. We're gonna spin the boat real fast. See what happens. There's a few fish out here. I don't know why they ain't sticking with me, unless I'm getting off of them. All 
water be catching them fast because I did one time that I seen a few come off the bottom. But they, they're so cold now, they're laying so tight at the bottom, they don't come off un unless they stir it. So you got to get on them to catch them. So I got off of them a little bit somehow. Got off of them, something on my jig. I ain't getting a bite now. That ain't good. We were on them too. I'm telling y'all were. Alright, I don't guess my jig wrapped up on the way down. Sometimes your jig got a little tail will flip up behind that one. The other one, that's a good one too. Hey, oh Lord, flipping out my hand with these gloves. That's a good one. That's a good one. Jumbo Magnum D-Light on Lake Monticello. That's a good one. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that. Two of them. One of them is bigger. What? He's spitting up shad, too. That's good. I'm catching the bigger fish on the dog on Mr. Crappy Jig. I'm thinking that little jig at the bottom is too little. It's only catching little ones. And that's a prime example right there of the small jig catching smaller fish sometimes. And that's what's happening right here today. The smaller jig is catching the smaller fish, where the bigger jig is catching the bigger fish. <clears throat> Drop them back down, see if we get a nut. Lake Monticello. Got the big game coming up Monday. Can't wait for that. Hope Georgia wins. Sorry, Alabama, but I hope Georgia wins. Georgia, hey, I like to see them win it. But, uh, hey, thanks to everybody. I tell you, I got some great fans. I love all my fans. I got Miss Pearly out in Florida. I got Angela in Oklahoma. I got Mike up here in South Carolina. I tell you what, and just on and on and on, I can talk about my good fans. Uh, Doug Fuller. Out in Arkansas, I tell you, you got some good, good fans. Appreciate all of you. And more people coming on board, this thing's getting big, and I appreciate it. Tell everybody you know about the old fishing. There's a lot of people out there that can't go fishing, would love to go fishing. It's a perfect show for them. They can get that little fixing fix without being able to, without going out in the cold weather. They can watch me fish. And I talk to you just like you in the boat with me. You can't beat it. And it's none of this fake action, it's live. Uh, as we go action, the only time ever so often I, they get so long, people, and I got to cut the ends off or either the front off because Miss Deborah, she ain't gonna put it up if it's over 40 minutes. I had one yesterday. I, I was 60 minutes long. That's why it cut off like that. And that's why it started in the middle. I cut it the edge off because it was just too doggone long. Hey, she she goes haywire when it's long. So anyhow, hey, I'm sorry. And I know we're not fancy like all the rest of them with all kind of fancy music and all that. Hey, what you see is what you get, and guess what? It's real. It ain't nothing fake. It ain't taking me but the 20 minutes you see uh, me fishing, and that's the, that's the special part of it. And we might not catch a lot of fish sometimes in that 20 or 30, 40 minutes, but sometimes we tear them up. So, you know, you got to take the good with the bad, but I want to show you each day uh, some of the, some, uh, one of the better films, <coughs> a lot of times I'll have two or three a day and I delete them. They all right, but they're not great. And then some days, the ones I delete the days before would have been better than the ones I got today. But hey, that's the way it is. I like to keep it daily. I hate to show old stuff. Once in a while, I'll show a clip off of something older. But I like to keep it up to date. What's happening right now, not something that happened. Uh, last week or two weeks before so you can keep up to date on what old fishermen's doing on the lake fishing and I go a lot so hey it's a good way to figure find out if the fish is biting and kind of what to do you can't beat it for nothing it's free and anybody want to donate any jigs or anything to old fishermen is appreciated and that's another monocella slab coming in we catch some pretty good fish some of them today bigger than yesterday anyhow this, this seems to be a nice one. I don't know until I get him in. I could have a snag, but yes, sir. He's a nice one. I'm telling you, I'm catching the big ones on them. Mr. Crappy. I think I need to put, take that slider jig off and put something else bigger at the bottom. All of them on that big, the big ones on the Mr. Crappy. All right, we're going to drop back down. We've got 60 foot now. Now the, I, my line's freezing up, but I put 10-pound tests on my reel 
uh, to make this line situation better, and this is better. 